It's American Gun Chick and Tim from the Military Arms Channel and today is Gun Day Monday. Today I get to learn all about hunting rifles. So I'm here with Mac from Mac Channel. You guys probably know him already. And I hope we, so. And we got some uh, different rifles here. We got like a 308. We have a uh, something else that he's gonna explain to us. But they all, they're all suppressed. So I've been really wanting to get into hunting because I've never hunted before. I've fished before, but I've never actually killed an animal and went out and ate it and did all that good stuff. But uh, I really want to get into it because we have some friends in Texas. Shout out to Morgan and Eric. They always go uh, black hog hunting there and stuff, so. That would be awesome. Mac here <laughs> is going to help me. He's gonna show me different types of scopes and guns and calibers you can use, and basically teach me how to go hunting for my first time. Well, you wanna tell us some stuff about these guns? And yeah, so I've, I've hunted in Texas. Awesome hunting, guys. Everything that's fun to hunt can be found in Texas. If you're a hunter, yeah. Texas is the place to be. Now the rifle I have in front of me here is one of my personal favorite hunting rifles. Uh, this thing's great for deer, this thing's great for hogs, this thing's great for just about anything in the Midwest. Now the rifle that we have here is made by LWRC and it is called the 6.8. I really like magnified optics like this one. Now this one is made by Primary Arms. This is a 1.5 to 8 power magnification. 1.5 power all the way up to 8 power so if you're hunting hogs and it's Within 50 yards, you can crank that down so you have a field of view and take the shot. If he's a little bit further out, you can crank it up really fast and take that further shot. So he knows a lot of information, obviously. Uh, There's a lot of info <laughs> in a gun, right? If you'd like to see extended details on the whole day, check out my Patreon page for a 30-minute episode. All right, so, so I'm shooting the 6.8 SPC. Got my bullets here. You know how Got to load it, right? Yep. All righty. Let's get it started. Solid hit. Nice. This scope is really nice because you can like see it like really clear and with the stock all the way out, you don't get that like black uh, cover, you know, when you're like, you gotta adjust your head a bunch, but this is nice. Let's try it one more time. Dude, that's cool. That's cool. You can even see where on the steel you hit. You can see that like uh, gray mark. Right in the head. Woo! <laughs> Good shot. I like this. This one's nice. So what's the recoil like? Not too bad. It's kind of like a little bit more than your standard AR. So. Yeah, just a little bit more than 5.56. Five, Is it pleasant yeah. though? Yeah. Yeah. So, so far this one, I would just be like, you know, I don't need to try the other ones. I'll just take this one. <laughs> this and is my favorite rifle. You could easily get like a hog, a deer, probably even a squirrel from that far because it's just like... But let's try these other ones. So here's here's a 6.5 gun I've set up for myself. This is what we're doing, learning all about <laughs> different guns you can use for hunting and gonna test them out and first reaction of... My experience with hunting is simple is better, right? So um, with anything, simple is better. Like when people try and do like trigger changes and modifying this, which I've done that before, but modifying this, doing that, stippling this and painting that, it's just all extra right. money blown kind of. Sometimes, but there are some modifications that actually make sense. And, and the nice thing about the AR rifle is that it's really a Lego gun. So this was my, not my first, but my, one of my rare times that I actually went out, bought a Viking lower, uh, which, which has a unique magazine well that you can see here. It's, it's cut so the magazines can come in from the side. So if you're laying prone in the dirt, you can bring the magazine in sideways. I thought that was a really cool idea, so I'm testing cool. that. Yeah, it's different, right? Yeah. But what this is I'm playing with and determining whether or not I want to continue to use is a red dot and a magnified optic all in one. I can look at the red dot sight. I can see the dot on my target, but then I don't have to move my face. I just look 11 degrees down and I'll magically see a magnified reticle with a bullet drop. 
So these are standard size AR-15s. So these are the two that we've talked about. Now, some This one's cool because it's got the uh, red dot here and then the long range. Really nice scope right here, so. Where'd I hit? Did it? You hit the steel. It looks like pretty much all shots are center of mass. It's hard to cure the steel sometimes, like hit. Let's try it again. All right. Dead, dead center. Nice. Yeah. Yep, right on top of nice. the last one. So this one's cool too. I like this one, but I think I like the first one we shot a little bit more because this one, the scope's a little bit lower, so you really have to hunch over, but I really like how you have the red dot and then you have the scope for really long distance, so you never know. Like, let's say something comes out of nowhere, like really close right here. You don't want to, you could use that, but you don't really want to use that. So you kind of have the option of both. That's cool. But let's try one more. Now, some folks are traditionalists and they like the 308. The 308 is kind of like 45 ACP. It's all American. It's kind of like baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, things like that. Everybody loves the, the 308, but it has its ups and downs. So this is a Midwest Industries uh, AR-10. And then on top of that, we have a one to four power uh, Hilux CMR scope. Let's say you get down to Texas and you want to, you're out of ammo. Yeah. You can go into any gun shop in North America, including Walmart, and find 308 ammo hunting ammo. It's that common. It's just everywhere. 6.8, maybe in a few gun shops. Yeah. 6.5 Grindel, you're ordering it online. Okay. Yeah, this is my first time hearing about those. So. Yeah, it's a new cartridge. The downside to an AR-10 like this, lift this thing up. Yeah, I brought it over here and it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. So when you go into the field with this rifle, um, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. And, and yeah, you wouldn't want to. Right. So I've carried a 300 Win Mag rifle into the field before, which is even bigger and heavier than this to hunt Neil Guy. And after chasing that darn thing for two miles, yeah, my, my arms were rubber. You know, yeah. that, that thing, the weight of the gun really starts to, to, to bear on you. But if you're the type of hunter that's gonna get into a tree stand, you're just gonna sit and, and wait for the deer to come out or the pigs to come out, great option, because you're not humping yeah. it through the woods, right? Oh, I'm just waiting for the comments. Do push-ups then. Yeah. <laughs> New one word push-ups, hit the gym. <laughs> But the 6.8 is smaller, it's lighter, and it carries enough energy to hunt most of the game that I'm interested in. What works for me may not necessarily work for you. All right, so I'm shooting a 308 Midwest Industries. Um, got my magazine right here. Let's try it out. Try it again. So where am I hitting? Can you guys tell? Looks like it was going a little bit left for you. There you go. There we go. They hit him in the uh, right shoulder. His right nice. shoulder. Yeah, this one's really heavy and a little bit more recoil, but not bad. There we go. There you go. So this one's cool. This one will rock you and rock you back a little bit, but it's not that bad. So I think what the, the, the problem you ran into is just that magazine was, was hitting the table and messing with you. Yeah. That scrunchy bag just, they're kind of neat because you can push into them, but every time you fire them, they kind of, the gun kind of sinks lower and lower into yeah. it. And you don't, what are you guys gonna hunt? What do you want to hunt? Pigs? Um, I don't know. Kind of, yeah, probably black hogs. And then deer eventually. So these, most of the 6.8s are right here. The outer ones were the 308s. So you, you really, that's the 6.8s, you really, really shot well. <laughs> so just think, if we're hunting like deer or black hogs, whatever, they're going to be bigger than this. Yep, that so, would be about the, the kill zone on a deer, your, so your ideal spot. Would have done pretty good. 
pretty well. Mm -hmm. That's all I brought. All right, so out of these three, <laughs> my favorite one is gonna be the first one. This one right here. I don't know if it's the scope or the gun itself or what it is, but this one, it doesn't have much recoil and the scope is really nice and I feel like my grouping was the tightest with this one. And I don't know, this one's really nice, so I would shoot agree. this and one again. You can shoot all you want. This is the rifle that is my primary hunting rifle for around here. This would be my deer rifle, this would be a standard coyote rifle, this would be a standard pig rifle. That's one of my favorites. I love the 6.8 from LWRC. So that's awesome. So now hopefully when we go hunting and we can pick out some really good rifles and get some good deer and make some deer jerky or something good. You gotta send me some. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta love it. The first time you go hunting is like the best. You'll never replace that first rush. Yeah. The first time you, you, you get a deer, the first time you get a pig, yeah. enjoy it because the next one won't be as satisfying. It's really exciting the first time. Yeah, and I'd rather have fresh like food that I killed and you know like gutted myself and all that instead of versus at the market where it has like hormones and yeah. like it went through torture because it's in like factories and stuff. And I totally agree with the fresh meat concept, right? The animal yeah. lives a full life. It eats all natural food, no byproducts and chemicals and hormones that are pumped into yeah. it. it. Lives a full life and it's prey and we're predators. So as a predator and prey, it's perfectly yeah. natural and the meat is superb. So that was me trying out all these different uh, rifles and learning all about hunting as much as I can. And now the big test would be to go out and get a deer, my very own deer, or get a hog and I'll mount its head on the wall and it'll, you know, use the skin, eat the meat. It'll be awesome. You're going to just soak it up and enjoy it. Take as much video and as many pictures as you can because you'll never get that same rush. It's always fun. I love hunting, but yeah. that first hunt is going to be the best one. You'll remember it your entire life. Yeah. So. Let's talk about the rifle. So out of the three, this is the one you liked, huh? Yeah, this is my favorite that I shot. I mean, they, they were all really good, but this one, I don't know, I just liked shooting it. Like, I like the scope, I like the recoil, everything. That's funny because this is set up for me to hunt with. So this is what I like. This is what yeah. I would take into the field around here. I have it set up just the way I like it. And it's interesting. I mean, it's good feedback for me because you like it as well. So it means yeah. I'm not just goofy, right? So yeah. other people like to set up He's too. not goofy at all. <laughs> this was awesome. Thank you for teaching me and letting me shoot this stuff and at this nice private range. Well, thank you awesome. for coming out. I mean, I, I love working with other YouTubers. I know what you guys are trying to do. Yeah. And I admire you for doing it. And guys, if you're not subscribed to her, click that subscribe button. And then over on the other side, there's this little bell. Click that because you'll get notifications when she puts up new videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> and uh, to all my Patreons out there, thank you for the support. And if you want to be a Patreon too, just go to my Patreon. I'll leave the link down below. And uh, also, check out NSR Tactical. They have really awesome holsters, and I just, I love their holsters. <laughs> and if you want to get a holster of yourself, NSR Tactical, use code AGC, all caps, for 5% off. So make sure you do that. Get some goodies, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Gun Day Mondays. It'd be cool to wake up every morning, come out, and do this, and hunt, and then go get breakfast, and then go to Ulta. I love guns and I love makeup.